In this video, I'll demonstrate how to configure Portal for ArcGIS with the ArcGIS Online World Geocode Service. You'll need an ArcGIS Online organizational account with credits to do this. If you don't have an account, you can find more information and sign up for one at esri.com. You'll also need to be logged into your portal as a member with administrative privileges. Finally, make sure that your portal deployment includes a hosting server, since this is required for batch geocoding. Batch geocoding is when you geocode more than one address at a time, for example, by adding a CSV to the map or geocoding using a client app such as Esri Maps for Office via your portal. And it requires a hosting server. A hosting server is a server site that stores layers and certain files, such as CSVs, that members publish to the portal. You can designate a hosting server once you have federated your portal with a server site, and the server site has an enterprise geodatabase or the ArcGIS data store registered with it. Refer to the Portal Administrator Guide for more information and for how to perform these steps. By default, Portal for ArcGIS uses the World Geocode Service, which you can find here, which is a free service that finds addresses and places in all supported countries around the world. If you intend to use the Geocode Service for place finding only, you can find single locations on the map with this default service. For instance, I can search for 380 New York Street in Redlands and it'll find that place on the map. If you'd like to be able to batch geocode multiple addresses, you'll need to configure your portal to use the World Geocode service from your ArcGIS Online organization, which will consume credits. To do so, first copy the World Geocode service URL as found here. Go to My Content in your portal, and to add an item using on the web and pasting the URL for the World Geocode Service. You'll be prompted to enter your ArcGIS Online organization credentials, which you'll store with the service item. I'll change the URL because my ArcGIS Online organization uses SSL for its communication. Enter a title and tags for the item. so that it can be found easily, and then add it. Now that you've added the geocode service as an item, copy the rest URL. Share the item with whichever groups or members you'd like to have access to geocoding. I'll share it with my entire portal. Go to My Organization, Edit Settings, and under Utility Services, add the geocoder pasting the rest URL, naming it appropriately, and enabling both place finding and batch geocoding. I'll remove the Esri World geocoder that came with Portal and save. Test the geocode service by adding a CSV file to the map that contains addresses you'd like to geocode. and it adds successfully. You can monitor your geocoding credit consumption and review status in your ArcGIS Online organization. Here you can see how many credits have been used for geocoding for various time frames. The CSV I geocode in this video shows up in my ArcGIS Online organization under Analytics and Usage. Remember that you can alter the sharing settings on your geocode service if you'd like to restrict who is allowed to perform batch geocoding.